With a Naginata in hand and a fierce determination in her eyes, Nakano Takeko was a warrior unlike any other during Japan's tumultuous Bakumatsu period. She led a group of female warriors into battle, inspiring fear in her enemies and respect from her comrades. But in a tragic turn of events, Takeko was mortally wounded and made the courageous decision to ask her sister to behead her so that she would not fall into enemy hands. Her story is one of bravery, sacrifice, and female empowerment, inspiring women across Japan to take up arms and fight for their beliefs. Nakano Takeko was born into a samurai family in the Eizu domain, located in present-day Fukushima Prefecture, Japan. The Eizu domain was known for its skilled warriors, and Takeko's father, Nakano Hainai, was no exception. He was a martial arts instructor who taught his daughter the art of the Naginata, a weapon traditionally used by women to defend their homes. Takeko showed exceptional talent in the martial arts and quickly mastered the Naginata, earning her place as one of the Eizu domain's most skilled warriors. As a young woman, Takeko was selected to lead a group of female warriors, the Joshigan, in the Battle of Eizu. The Joshigan was made up of about 20 women who had undergone rigorous training in martial arts and were ready to fight alongside their male counterparts. Takeko led the Joshigan into battle with unwavering bravery, inspiring those around her with her fearlessness and determination. The Battle of Eizu was a crucial conflict in the Bakumatsu period, which marked the end of the feudal era in Japan. The Eizu domain had aligned itself with the shogunate, while the Imperial Japanese army was fighting to restore power to the emperor. The battle lasted for a month, with the Eizu domain ultimately succumbing to the superior firepower of the Imperial Japanese army. In the final moments of the battle, Takako was mortally wounded by a bullet to the chest. Rather than let herself be taken captive by the enemy, she asked her sister, Yuko, to behead her. Yuko carried out her sister's final wish, and Takeko's head was buried in a nearby temple. Nakano Takeko's story has become the stuff of legend in Japan, with countless books, movies, and TV shows depicting her bravery and sacrifice. She is remembered as a symbol of female strength and resilience, inspiring women to take up arms and fight for their beliefs. In 1968, a statue of Takeko was erected in Eizu Wakamatsu, depicting her in full battle gear with a Naginata in hand. Her legacy lives on as a testament to the power of courage and conviction.